Hey, my name's Charlotte and I'm a third year medical student at JCU. When I was applying for uni, I had so many questions and I had no idea where to start. So today we've answered a few of them for you to try and make the process a little bit easier. There are a number of programs at JCU which require a special application process. These include the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Dentistry, the Bachelor of Physiotherapy, the Bachelor of Veterinary Science. In the coming years, the Bachelor of Pharmacy will not be done by an application process, but you will need an OP of a minimum 10. The UMAT stands for the Undergraduate Medical Admissions Test. It's a tool used by a lot of unis around Australia to help gauge students and help determine entry into their programs. The UMAT is not considered for any health programs at JCU. They don't ask about it and they wouldn't even know if you've sat the exam. Having done the UMAT doesn't give you any extra credit because the results are never accessed by JCU. Getting an OP1 or an ATAR of 99 does not guarantee you entry into medicine. Selection process is really competitive and is based on both your score and written application. From these two things, 500 candidates are selected for an interview. It's then your performance in this interview that determines your selection into the medical program. There is no set cutoff score uh, for entry into med because the written application can change the results dramatically in either direction. Make sure that you read all the instructions in the application and follow them as best you can. It is a competitive process, so make sure that if it says provide three recommendations, that you choose your best three. Don't include any extras because they won't be considered. Make sure that you sign the declaration yourself and have it signed by an authorised person. And check and double check absolutely everything that you send in um, because they can only accept one copy per person. Make sure that you get your application in by the due date because you don't want to miss out by having late paperwork. Yes, of course. These health courses are designed by experienced professional staff to make a difference to the unique health issues facing Northern Australia and the tropics. But in saying that, graduates go further than this, pursuing career goals all over the world. Courses recognised by key professional associations such as the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia, the Dental Board of Australia, Australian Pharmacy Council, Australian Medical Council and the Australasian Veterinary Board, just to name a few. Recognition like this allows people to work in Australia and New Zealand and in heaps of other places all over the world. Most of our courses begin placement and practical training from first semester in first year. There are clinics like this set up with volunteer patients, experienced staff members and students from older years to help us develop the skills that we'll need for the rest of our career. And there's a teaching hospital just two minutes across the road, so you always have an access to a wide range of teaching facilities. A lot of the staff are also currently practicing clinicians, so you get to benefit from their experience straight away. JCU doesn't recommend specific degree pathways. They encourage students to consider what other areas of interest they have and to apply for those because you'll always get the best results in things that you are genuinely interested in. When I was first considering getting into med, I thought if I don't get in first round, I'll apply for biomed and then try and transfer after my first year. The problem was I really didn't want to be a biomedical scientist since found that the best possible pathway is something that you would have considered to be a backup career. There are no extra points for certain degrees and they don't value one type more so over another. If you have the prerequisites, then you can do a year of drama, accounting, marine biology, and as long as you keep your grades up, then you'll be eligible to apply and you'll be a competitive candidate for something like medicine, dentistry, or any of our other programs. Uni is extremely different from school. There's so much more practical and hands-on work, but you also have to be much more responsible for your own learning, so it's really important to develop good study habits as soon as possible. JCU is a publicly funded university, so that means that you can defer all of your study costs on the Hex Help Loan Scheme. You don't actually have to pay anything up front to study here. Some things that you do need to budget for though are things like lab coats, textbooks and a parking permit and these can add up to a few hundred dollars per semester. 
Some advice that I wish people had given me when I was in high school? Do some work experience in the area that you're passionate about. And if you can't get work experience, some volunteering is a really great place to start. Don't forget to have a backup plan, just in case your final year doesn't quite go the way you'd hoped. And finally, don't be afraid to apply, even if you think that you won't get the score that you need to get in. You might just surprise yourself.